Game of Thrones Season 1, Episode 3, Lord Snow. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the living room. We are the October. So as you guys know, this is going to be a long journey, man. So we're going to keep these intros short because it's going to get really awkward me trying to like make an intro every time. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of the video and we're just going to blabber about what we saw. So like, subscribe, turn on those notification bells so you guys don't miss an upload. Let's go. All right, pay attention. I'm paying attention. All right, so King's Landing. That thing's really called the Narrow Sea. I thought they just called it the Narrow Sea, but it's really the Narrow Sea. Okay, so North. North means Winterfell, right? Yeah. Because it's cold up there mm -hmm. and Winterfell. Because Winterfell on it, remember? What's that tree? Because I keep seeing that tree. I don't know, but they were, that's where they were under it talking. That's where John went. I'm ready for this. Time. I just noticed there's like animals on the outside of that. I never realized that. Which kind of animals? Like there was like a that animal right there. Oh my god! Look at that horse head. No, that wasn't no horse head. What am I it was talking a deer. about? That was no, a deer head. There was a deer head on it, and there was a wolf head on it, and another two other types of heads. But I, I can't identify them at this time. Did they just arrive in King's Landing? Welcome, Lord Stark. Grand Meister Pycelle has called a meeting of the small council. The honor of your presence is requested. Get the girls settled in. I'll be back in time for supper. If you'd like to change into something more appropriate. What's he trying to say? He's, <laughs> How can you even tell out? what's like good or bad back then? That was nice to me. Maybe because he's got that, I got that northern look, that cold. Is look. it because it's just nerdy? Maybe he looks a little musty. Okay, that's cool, <laughs> but gloomy. Thank the gods you're here, Stark. About time we had some stern northern leadership. Glad to see you're protecting the throne. What's the line? The king shits and the hand wipes. <laughs> Friends of mama, not a scratch on it. What an insult. People have been <laughs> swinging at me for years. They always seem to miss. Nah. Chosen your opponents wisely then. Mayweather. No, I'm fine. <laughs> Jake Paul. Must be strange for you coming into this room. It was very brave, your brother. And your father too. You didn't deserve to die like that. You just stood there and watched. 500 men just stood there and watched. 500 men. And this room was silent as a crypt. Except for the screams, of course. And the mad king laughing. I remember him laughing as your father burned. It felt like justice. Wow. Is that what you tell yourself at night? But what was he trying to my say? father when you shove your sword yeah. in Ares Targaryen's back. If I stabbed the Mad King in the belly, would you admire me more? You served him well when serving was safe. That was very complex dialogue, but... So I think what happened is he's mad at the guy right there, the douchey dude, because he killed the king. He, he's calling him the Mad King, right? Because he's like laughing and going crazy. But he killed the king, but the king killed his family. He killed who's his family? His dad, Ned. We are all praying for Prince Joffrey's and... recovery. Shame you didn't say a prayer for the butcher's son. Renly! I told them this meeting could wait another day, but... But we have a kingdom to look after. I've hoped to meet you for some time, Lord Stark. No doubt Lady Catelyn has mentioned me. I understand you knew my brother Brandon as well. From navel to collarbone. Perhaps you chose the wrong man to duel with. Well, it Ooh. wasn't the man. It was Catelyn Tully, a woman worth fighting for. I'm sure you'll agree. Whoa. His woman. Oh, well, she's sleeping with him, so... This belongs to you now. Should we begin? Winter may be coming, but I'm afraid the same cannot be said for my brother. He entrusts some small matters to us. We are the lords of small matters here. So that's his brother. That's the king's brother right there. I guess. But the this cast of characters dude. is crazy right now. Brother instructs us to stage a tournament in honor of Lord Stark's appointment as Hand of the King. 40,000 gold dragons to the champion. I'll have to borrow it. The Lannisters will accommodate. The crown is six million in debt. How could he let this happen? He's pissed all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> I will not believe John Arryn allowed Robert to bankrupt the realm. His grace doesn't always listen. Counting coppers, he calls it. So he came into to some trouble. You are the king's hand. We serve at your pleasure. Well, that was nice, right? But is it too nice? I don't know. A king should have scars. You're a warrior, like your father. I didn't fight off anything. It bit me, and all I did was scream. At least he's honest, though. That's not true. You killed the beast. Oh, wow. You'll sit on the throne, and the truth will be what you make it. That's jacked up. Do I have to marry her? She's very beautiful and young. And if you don't like her, you only need to see her on formal occasions and when the time comes to make little princes and princesses. Dang. <laughs> Jacked up, man. What a terrible parent. Do something nice for the Stark girl. I don't want to. No, but you will. The occasional kindness will spare you all sorts of trouble down the road. Dang. <laughs> I double their taxes. <laughs> Brat. We should have a, a standing army of men loyal to the crown. And if the Northerners rebel, I'd crush them. They whooped your butt, boy. <laughs> The women did. The little puppy did. <laughs> you got beat by a dog with a sword in your hand. When the winter comes, the seven gods together couldn't save you and your royal army. A good king knows when to save his strength and when to destroy his enemies. So you agree? Stark's our enemy. It wouldn't surprise me if she straight kissed this dude right now. I mean, you just never know with that girl. Enough of that, young lady. Eat your food. I'm practicing. <laughs> practicing for what? <laughs> 
the prince. He's a liar and a coward. And he killed my friend. Oh, she wants to gut him up. If he told the truth, Mike would be alive. That little lady is feisty. I like Ari. <laughs> I would rather act like a beast than a lady. Go to your room. We'll speak later. Ooh. Ned doesn't look right in this setting. Yeah, he looks he looks cool in Winterfell. That's her needle. Go away. Open the door. Oh, she's about to show him it. Whose sword is that? Mine. Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Whose sword is that? Where did you get this? This is no toy. He ain't gonna take it from her, right? And I don't want to be a lady. Oh. She wants to fight, Pops. <laughs> it's called Needle. I believe with a name. And who were you hoping to skewer with Needle, your sister? <laughs> you know bit. the first thing about sword fighting? Sticking with the pointy end. <laughs> John said that. <laughs> I asked my kids to practice with me. It was my fault. Sansa will be married to Joffrey someday. She must take his side. But how can you let her marry someone like that? Right. It's tough, man. You might have no choice. He doesn't, but that's... You're a Stark of Winterfell. You know our words. Winter is coming. But now winter is truly coming. In the winter, we must protect ourselves. Look after one another. So she's never seen a winter? So winter only comes once every like 10 years or something? I don't know. The hell? We've come to a dangerous place. We cannot fight a war amongst ourselves. That's a really heavy little pep talk if you're a little girl. Because when you and your sister would <laughs> fight, it would be like, come on girls, but the whole kingdom's at stake for them. Mm. If you want to own a sword, you better know how to use it. Train her up then, dad. He's kind of the cool dad. I know a story about a boy who hated stories. Oh, my sweet summer child. There it goes. Oh! Fear is for the long night, when the sun hides for years, and children are born and live and die. That is the time for fear, my little lord. Thousands of years ago, there came a night that lasted a generation. Oh my god. <laughs> Winter is coming, that's what she's saying. So is this the sort of story that you like? The White Walkers came for the first time. They swept through cities and kingdoms, hunting with their packs of pale spiders. <laughs> Bro, that was the best part of the series so far. That was that nuts. That was intense. So the White Walkers are like a, they're like a real urban legend, huh? <clears throat> but they're real because we saw them at the beginning. You still don't remember anything? Oh, he doesn't remember? Oh, yikes. I've seen you climb a thousand times. And you're fire. You never fall. It's true, isn't it? What my saloon says about my legs. <gasps> Bro, he is paralyzed. Oh my god! How are they even gonna do that in those times? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is he gonna do? So he's gonna be crippled. Don't, be Don't ever say that. I'd rather be dead. The two young ones are becoming bold. They're becoming dark. I know. Well, I can understand him. Yeah, that's tough. And he doesn't even remember. So he, they're sitting there probably gonna attack him for no reason because he doesn't even remember. We've been instructed to escort you into the city. I don't know who's providing your instructions, but... Follow me, Lady Stark. Dang, I thought she was trying to keep it low-key. Cats. Go on. You little worm. <laughs> Take me for some back alley sally. <laughs> oh, he was saying that he has a thing for her back in the day, right? Yeah, but he called her Tully or something. Tally. Have you lost your mind? No one will come looking for you here. Isn't that what you wanted? How did you know I was coming to King's Landing? A dear friend told me. Lord Varys. How did he know? How did you know I was coming? Knowledge is my trade, my lady. Did you bring the dagger with you by any chance? What in the world? My little birds are everywhere. So he is all the goths. He's got spas throughout the kingdom, I guess. You know whose dagger this is. There's only one dagger like this in all of the Seven Kingdoms. He's too smiley. It's mine. Yours? What? At least it was, until the tournament on Prince Joffrey's last name day. I bet on Sir Jamie in the jousting, I lost this dagger. To, to Jamie? Who? Tyrion Lannister. <gasps> The imp. Oh, the little short dude. Bro. That's his dagger? But why would he tell her that? Is, isn't he like sitting good up in there? Maybe he's telling her so they can come for the Lannis Tyrion. He's pinning him. Oh, okay. Next. <laughs> Next. Well, Lord Snow, it appears you're the least useless person here. <laughs> Charming man. I don't need him to be charming. I need him to turn this bunch of thieves and runaways into men of the night's watch. And how's that going, Commander Mormont? Oh, so like the ragtag? Yeah. The Raven came. Well, we've heard the, the name Mormont on here before. Song. I just don't remember where. Good news or bad? Uh, a Raven from Winterfell this morning. Do you just kind of know that they read it? Do you just kind of suggest that? Right, yeah. Especially in this town? Like, you didn't even read it yet. Give him a chance. Perhaps he'd like to share it with your wife. My wife is in Winterfell. Is she? He's just stirring the pot. <laughs> yeah, he really is. Hey, what's that for? One of several such establishments I own. There we go. <laughs> Ned. Oh, he thought he was lying. I thought he just wanted to take a swing at him. <laughs> he was just calling her a uh, 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 HOE. Basically, yeah. Broke my nose, busted. He might break your leg this time. I know. Why would you start with him? <laughs> 
What you looking at, half man? I'm looking at you. You've got an interesting face. Perhaps I'll write to my sister, the queen, about you. Oh, he just flexes on people like that? I mean, I would. They don't give him any respect. He walked in and they were like, what you looking at, half men? Right, why don't they even believe him? Everybody knew what this place was, and no one told me. My father knew, and he left me to rot at the wall all the same. Gren's father left him too. Mm. Pip was caught stealing a wheel of cheese his little sister hadn't eaten in three days. He was given a choice, his right hand or the wall. That's tough, bro. They hate me because I'm better than they are. It's a lucky thing none of them were trained by master at arms like your Sir Roderick. Aw, is Tyrion like telling him to like, you know, lighten up on him? I'm genuinely so confused why he's like even talking. Even to there? You. Right, <laughs> like, yeah. was he there for? I don't know either. And he woke up. We have proof. We have the blade. Which Lord Tyrion will say was stolen from him. Peter has promised to help us find the truth. I'll try to keep you alive for her sake. I've never been able to refuse your wife anything. I won't forget this. Yes, you will. You're a true friend. Oh, he ain't. Don't tell anyone. I have a reputation to maintain. No, nah, he's a weasel. <laughs> I don't trust him. I think he's setting him up. How could you I don't be know so how. stupid? He's a child. I was thinking of us. What has the boy told him? He said nothing. He remembers nothing. I think we can have Fox attend you. And my husband. I'll go to war with him if I have to. The war for Cersei's cut. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go. The boy won't talk. And if he does, I'll kill him. Let's start the king the whole bloody lot of them until you and I are the only people left in this world. Are they like in true love or what is it? I, I have no, I don't know. To be continued. It's a strange concept and I'm not really feeling it. I can't do anything without proof. And if you find the proof? Then I bring it to Robert and hope he's still the man I once knew. You watch yourself on the road, huh? That temper of yours is a dangerous thing. My temper? <laughs> you nearly Aww. killed her little finger yesterday. He still loves you. I love those two. Yeah, they're a cute little couple, aren't they? But could you imagine if your wife cheated on you with a dude named Littlefinger? I don't think <laughs> she did, like... though. I just don't see him being able to go back to Winterfell, though. What do you mean? Like, he's the hand of the king now. Like, I just don't see him ever being able to go back unless, like, you know, how can he? he? Until the king's gone, he can't. It's been a long time. You remember your first lance through the heart? Mine was some tarly boy at the Battle of Summer Hall. He came running at me, this dumb, high-born lad, thinking he could end the rebellion with a single swing of his sword. Probably shattered every rib he had. Right before I brought it down, he shouted, Wait! They never tell you how they all shit themselves. They don't put that part in the songs. For good reasons. Now, the Tarleys bend the knee. He could have lingered on the edge of the battle. Today, his wife would be making him miserable. And he'd be waking three times in the night to piss into a bowl of wine. Lancel Lannister. This little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Half wit with a stutter. Dang. And that's his wife's family? <laughs> it's empty, Your Grace. So get more. Tell your cousin to get in here. Kingslayer! That's his get cousin. So that's a Lannister. And he's sitting there picking on him. Did you hear him? He called him Kingslayer. <laughs> it's like an insult, kind of, right? Because he's the king. He's basically calling him a rat, kind of. <laughs> Close my eyes, I see their blonde hair and their smug, satisfied faces. <laughs> oh, he don't like them. He had to marry into that a terrible family. <laughs> Jamie Lannister, son of the mighty Tywin. We're telling war stories. Who was your first kill, not counting old men? One of the outlaws in the Brotherhood. I was there that day, 16 years old. You killed Sam and Toyin with the counter repast. Best move I ever saw. What is this? What about Aerys Targaryen? What did the Mad King say when you stabbed him in the back? I never asked. He said the same thing he'd been saying for hours. Burn them all. If that's all you're yeah, I'll go back to my door. So he really was like a <clears throat> mad king? That's so, what they say. So he was like, burn them all. And burn it them. says he was Targaryen, so he was like the blondes family. Who's that? The blondes, the ones, I think right here's. Oh, okay. The future king, dude? Mm-hmm. Do the Dothraki buy their slaves? The Dothraki don't believe in money. Most of their slaves were given to them as gifts. Sometimes a Carl feels insulted by the number of slaves he's given. He might think the men too weak or the women too ugly. Go, go, dira, <laughs> Tell them all to stop. For how long? Until I command them otherwise. Ooh, queen moves. Not a queen, a Khaleesi. She's looking like a warrior princess. Like Xena? Yeah. Where's she going? Oh, she's gotta go use the bathroom. <laughs> she heard that noise and she followed it. What noise? That. <laughs> no, I think that's just background music, bro. Oh, too literal, too literal. Okay. You dead! I am Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. I don't take orders from savages. Do you hear me? Oh. Yes, you do. If you want him dead, Khaleesi. No, please don't hurt him. That was crazy. Tell him I don't want my brother harmed. Oh, he's going to be so mad. 
So they're confused about the whole situation. The other dude's obviously telling them that he's the king, she's the queen. He's not telling his people that he's part of it. So he's walking around like, yeah, everyone thinks I'm the king, but really he's just I being left out the loop. King. They don't think he's the king. They think Cal Cal is. Is. Oh, he don't like that. Didn't see that coming. Uh, Let's go. Uh, 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 uh. You walk. That's right. I don't like that guy. To be honest, I don't really like any of them. Like on this side of things? Yeah, because he's you making You don't like that... Khaleesi? Well, no, I like her, but she's the only person likable. Everybody else is like terrible. I know. I kind of like the assistant, the translator. I like him and I like Khaleesi. Bro, that's that elevator we saw? Oh, hell no. They have to hand turn that all the way up. Right, that's what I'm saying. They're cranking that thing. One at a time. Oh, he's freezing. I miss why he has to go up here. It does a good job sounding cold. Yeah, cue in the blizzard music or the blizzard sound effect. Oh my gosh, that is very high. I wanted to be here when you saw it for the first time. So that's where they keep watch from? They've been disturbing reports. What kind of report? The kind I don't want to believe. You're not going. You're no ranger, John. But I'm better than every You're other. Better than no one. He, a man gets what he earns. When he earns it. Hey, you gotta pay your dues. So he's gonna go down into that, like, wilderness? I guess. He's saying there's some activity Disturbing going on. Yeah. Reports. When you're 100 miles north of the wall and you ate your last meal a week ago, you leave nothing for the wolves. And how do a bear's bulls taste? A bit chewy. <laughs> <laughs> you roam the Seven Kingdoms, collaring pickpockets and horse thieves and bringing them here as eager recruits. Not all of them's done bad things. Some of them's just poor lads looking for steady feed. Some of them's high-born lads looking for glory oh so they just pick up some stragglers and bring them there right it seems like it is that what we are lannister an army of jesters in black we don't have enough men to be an army and aside from your in here none of you are particularly funny i hope we provided you with some good stories to tell when you're back in king's land it's something to think about when you're drinking your wine down there half the boys you've seen training will die north of the wall might just be the cold harsh condition they die in pain and they do it so plump little laws like you can enjoy their summer afternoons in peace and comfort i'm not sure what i've done to offend you i have great admiration for you as first ranger <laughs> you know my brother once told me that nothing someone says before the word but really counts <laughs> that's true but i don't believe that giants and ghouls and white walkers are lurking beyond the wall you're right the wildlings are no different from us it's not the wildlings giving me sleepless nights you've never been north of the wall so don't tell me what's out there i get it so those like ice monster things are their ancestors but they've been in that cold for so long they've turned into like it's like ice demons i don't think it's the same as the wildling or is it the wildling are they called wildlings yeah the things with the blue eyes the wildlings going below into the tunnel and out the other side he'll be north of the wall for a month or two dang it's a long time. You're heading down to King's Landing too. Let's share the road. <laughs> I travel a bit on the grubby side, my lord. We'll be staying at the finest castles and inns. No one turns away a Lannister. Ath Jahaka. Yes, Khaleesi. When was last time you bleed, Khaleesi? He's pregnant? Hmm. For a man on horseback, the curved blade is a good thing. Easier to handle. But a man in full plate, the Arak won't get through the steel. That's where the broadsword has the advantage. Designed for piercing blades. Armor, it make a man, um... Slow. Slow. <laughs> it's true. It also keeps a man alive. I know Richard may be like Jack. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. He still is. Oh, he's still alive? And a great honor. And I betrayed him. <laughs> don't think she wants to be dog. The Khaleesi have baby inside her. It is true. He knows? Her belly start to swell. I'll have the boys butcher a goat for supper. She's like, thanks. I need to ride to Kor Hall. All right, we'll see you at Kor Hall. <laughs> I'll catch you. The hold's easy to find. He heard that news and immediately needed to go. Right. I guess he has a very vested interest in that. I know. Or he's like a spy or something. Target to hit a moving target. <laughs> Yeah, John, you better train him up. But for what, though? Oh, I guess for the uh, the wobbling, I guess. But reports from the Citadel tell us the days grow shorter. Starks are all right eventually. Winter is coming. This one will be long, and dark things will come with it. We've been capturing wildlings. the fleeing south. The ones who flee say they've seen the White Walkers. One of our own rangers swore he saw them kill his companions. Right up to the moment, Ned Stark chopped his head off. 
Ice that guy. Is the only thing standing between the realm and what lies beyond. We all need a better army. There are less than a thousand of us now. We barely enough resources to keep our lads armed and fed. Your sister sits by the side of the king. Tell her we need help. She doesn't believe in it. None of them do. So basically they're saying we need to band together because this this is for real. Y'all think we're, it's a joke. So but. is he saying that every time winter comes, that's when like the wildlings and all them people, like the dark forces out there, like starts to become active? I right. guess. I guess. He said people were fleeing south. I'm not sure who. Mirak. I'll be like scared to tell him that because what if it's not? <laughs> right. <laughs> she didn't have a choice but to tell him that, did she? <laughs> oh my God. He's doing that. <laughs> oh, that's what he wanted to do. Yeah, oh that's what gosh. he was telling wow. those little kids he wanted to do. Right. I'm sorry to see you leave, Lonister. Now he's leaving. <laughs> it's either me or this cold, and it doesn't appear to be going anywhere. <laughs> will you stop at Winterfell on your way south? I expect I will. If you see my brother Brum, tell him I miss him. He'll never walk again. Hmm. If you're going to be a cripple, it's better to be a rich cripple. Farewell, my lord. Yeah, I get that he's short, but man, what he goes through, I don't think is as bad as what Bran's gonna be faced with. Who are you? <laughs> Sirio Forel. What in the hell? <laughs> Tomorrow you will catch it. Now pick it up. That is not the way, boy. Too heavy. It is heavy as it needs to be to make you strong. That's her sensei right there. Turn your body side face. Yes. You are skinny. That is good. The target is smaller. <laughs> the grip must be delicate. What if I drop it? The steel must be part of your arm. Can you drop part of your arm? Nine years, Sirio Farrell was first sword to the Sea Lord of Bravos. You must listen to me, boy. I'm a girl. You are a sword. That is the grip. You are not holding a battle axe. You are holding... <laughs> a needle. <laughs> <laughs> Now we will begin the dance. He hired the dang cheekiest one in the King's Landing. Hawking and hammering. This is the Bravos dance. The water <laughs> dance. <laughs> All men are made of water. Pierce them. The water leaks out and they die. Dang. Now you will try to strike me. <laughs> <laughs> My GL. <laughs> Up. Batter stands. <laughs> He said the no look. <laughs> if she didn't do the scream, maybe he wouldn't know where she's at. <laughs> she got desorted. Ah. Good catch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like it's bothering you. Right, what's going on? Oh, he's just picturing her like dying on a, oh. Or I maybe just it. some like PTSD. He's imagining his little daughter on a battlefield. He's actually seeing it with his own eyes and picturing it right now and he doesn't like oh it. Oh my gosh. That was nuts, guys. Okay, so my thoughts were basically, it kind of just like, I think it, I think what this episode did was just like add a lot to the drama. Um, adding some new characters, that guy that was like the, the head of the brothel. I don't know. He owned the brothel. He's, oh yeah, Littlefinger. I think that was his name. Yeah, it's a unique what, name. What, a, what kind of name is Littlefinger? That's the only reason. Bro, so you guys are going to learn, man. I cannot, I cannot keep up with names to save my life, guys. I don't remember that one because it's a little finger. That was it's so weird one. to me. That was bizarre. But apparently, um, Lady Stark has known him. I don't. I don't. It didn't exactly get into that, but apparently, she's known him. And what ha what he's important for is because it was his dagger that was going to assassinate Bran. Right. Well, he said he lost it in to Tyr to Tyrion. No, I think he. Yeah, he lost it to Tyrion. So I guess like back then, it's technically registered to Tyrion. Right. Crazy episode. Finally got to go to the wall. Well, John went to the wall. Uh, Tyrion came up there. And so the vibe that I'm getting, man, is so Tyrion's vested interest in John is he sees leadership in John and he now understands that someone needs to take control of the wall, right? The the army at the wall. So he's thinking that John can take that leadership role, maybe because maybe Tyrion believes in like all these myths of like the monsters and stuff that come during the winter. It didn't it didn't really like say why Tyrion. I mean, maybe it did say why Tyrion was there was and we thinking. missed it. But he it looked like he was there and he looked like he was kind of mocking them and they were kind of like giving it back to him. 
He was just trying to be one with the people. Yeah, I mean. I mean, he was like, you know, he wasn't necessarily mocking them, but he wasn't like making light of what they're doing there. The vibe I was getting was Tyrion kept looking at John, almost like take it serious, like right. If you're gonna be here, share what you know. Stop thinking you're better than them, because right. Because at day, first he was fighting them like two v one, like whooping right. them, and then he started teaching them stuff. Yeah, I don't know what's up with. Uh, well, I guess that's why we met the little finger guy was because of the dagger. Uh, and what he, else? Um, and that guy, the bald guy, he's part of like Ned's council, and Ned went to that council learning that he, he's basically in the negative like he came he oh took yeah they over, were poor right he That's took right. over hand of the king but somehow um the accounts have gotten messed up and he said that he, the guy before him he wasn't sure why that guy would let the king like basically drink them into debt Right, there's a lot of politics to be discovered, obviously. So that's one of the things that I'm picking up. This story definitely feels a lot bigger than it did. And based off that, do you think Robert's a good king? Are you getting that vibe? No, I don't think he's a good king so far. I mean, don't come from my head, guys. I have very limited information. I don't really think he's a very good king. He doesn't seem to have his priorities in line. Um, he lets everyone else lead. He just sits there. He even admits it. Yeah, he, he shouldn't do that, definitely. Because he has a tyrant brewing right under his nose, that little boy. So his son's a rat. And I think that my prediction is that this show will prove that he's a rat. I think I think what's eventually going to happen is I think that something will probably end up happening to the king. They'll probably kill him. That little boy will probably become king. And I think it's really just going to be a story of how he destroys everything. Just destroys everything, right? Uh, you know, that's just the vibe I'm getting. But, but then again, I don't know, because there's the other the dude because the other dude was supposed to be king too but then all of a sudden he's not really in power anymore it's the girl so i don't really know how that's going to come about man um it sort of looks like a good versus evil it looks like maybe that girl is supposed to rule and she's like good you know what i mean and then the dude the king's son is just evil maybe it's like one of those good versus evils but we'll, we'll see how that goes the kind of vibe i'm getting is like honestly there's a lot of parallels to like real life today like there's a lot of like arguing within what you have going on but like some people believe there's like higher things coming like i guess they're saying when Winter is coming and y'all are too busy playing like, you know, knife in the back over this daggum like drama y'all have had for years with your families. Right. That's what I was saying with Tyrion. Like Tyrion seems to be ahead of it. He seems to be focused on the bigger picture. Right. It seems like he's ahead thing. of everybody else. Like that's why he maybe went to the wall. I'm like, again, I, right. I'm sure it told us flat out, but I'm still not sure why he went. Sure. In that point in time, he would have been looked at as like a conspiracy theorist. Right. So right. he believes in those tall tales. But. He's just checking his P's and Q's because he's like, bro, like, protect me now. I enjoy my, my luxuries down here at the same time. Like, protect me, right? But on the other side of that, he could just be trying to get close to John because he's the one who tried to get Bran killed off. So he's trying to, like, just show good face with him. That You know what? I didn't think about I didn't think way. about that either until just now. Right. Like, he could just be trying to get a good, like, name out there. Dude, that makes sense because he was saying that, like, if you're going to be crippled, it's better to be wealthy. And so maybe his whole motive is to protect the family's name so he can continue to like make it through society because he knows like if his family was in bad standing with the people, like he wouldn't be protected anymore. Right. Like, yeah. So he's oh just trying gosh. to protect himself. I mean, I could be totally wrong. That kind of sucks because I was starting to look at him almost like, like as a good guy. Kinda, yeah. I mean, even though he's kind of grody, but he's kind of a you know what I'm saying? He seems like a good dude, but I'm starting to like Like he's dang. smiling in our faces a lot. And right. that's like that's oh like what good politics is, am I right? Like smiling in your face right. so now i'm like starting to think like he's dirty dang to be continued uh he literally went there maybe he went there because he genuinely just wanted to pee on the wall you know what i'm saying i, I have no idea maybe he's that petty i don't really know him yet are we missing know. anything is there any is there any you know things of the show that we've missed so far um i mean what's your note say Guys, we have been taking a little bit of notes because um, it's very complex. So basically all I've been doing um, is writing down like who belongs to what family and like where they're from that I've known so far that I've like seen them say in the episode, because right. honestly, all I pay close, close attention to is dialogue. If you guys are interested, look. <laughs> don't make fun of it in my handwriting. But but yeah, it's just like a quick little thing. Like if I don't know exactly what house they're in, that's where they go. Just in case some of you guys out there on YouTube are interested in that, but we are trying our best, especially me, man. It really does take a big effort for me to learn these names because I'm just a dumb guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> This show so far is actually going nuts to me, guys. So I'm getting a really bad feeling for Ned. It's very apparent to me when he's at the King's Palace that he's at a place. He is somewhere where he obviously, you know, they were looking at him like he wasn't good enough. They asked him if he needed a change of clothes. And right. that, I think that really was to just sim like symbolize that you don't really belong here. Yeah. Remember, I Your told you I'm really big on like, I'm really big on like the costumes, costumes and, and, colors stuff. and stuff. So that was when they said that. It struck me like that was like they're trying to say like, yo, you don't fit in. We learned that brand uh bran is paralyzed so yeah so when we had that whole thing about the joke last time we didn't know like why his mom got so mad at 
because it was confusing why we didn't know why the mother like hated uh john so much i mean like we get we got the infidelity thing but we didn't right. understand like after so long like she gave him a really dirty look when he made a comment about him right. walking around so it turns out the dude is actually paralyzed so which i guess if i had to predict him and Tyrion are probably going to become close because his family is in king's landing so if i had to guess i would think that he would go to king's landing um because he is paralyzed uh, i'm just getting the vibe that maybe him and Tyrion will have some type of sympathy towards each other because they're the only they're because the he made the cripple comment yeah when he right. made that cripple comment it kind of seemed like he was going to go there and he said rich and remember he told joffrey at that dinner last time because i remember editing this not too long ago he told Joffrey um, when he was telling him he was a wretched nephew and stuff, he was telling him he better be at the hands of Bran. Like, he better be on his knees because the like the family wants to share their condolences with what happened. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Dorthraki, Cal Drogo, and the blonde-haired girl. So she's pregnant, uh, which is Khaleesi. crazy. The craziest part of the episode to me was the story that old lady told um, Bran. Bran. The Bran, the story the old lady told Bran was nuts, man. That was very, very creepy. The other girl's pregnant. So the second craziest part of the episode to me was definitely when you realize that the tribe has no respect. And like I said, guys, I'm really starting to think that he's walking around thinking that, oh, I'm going to become a king. I'm going to get this army. Hold on. But I need to see his name. Viserys. In my opinion, man, it seems like he was just left out of the loop. It looks like he was made a bunch of false promises. And it's one of those things like, yeah, 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 you'll become king. And then it's like, you know, the frog in the bowling water. By the time you no, know what like, happens to you. I, I don't think it was that. I think what he did was he he asked Khal Drogo to like get this army, but the army doesn't bow to him. They bow to Khal Drogo, which means and they also the bow to Khaleesi. Yes. Right. But he's under the impression that that's basically his army. Right. Right. But I think he just realized like, I'm, I've actually been left out of these plans. Right. Like I actually have no say right. here. He realized that real quick. Man. He realized like the true king of these people is uh, Khal Drogo and they're going to honor his wife with his new wife and not him. So, that part's really interesting to me, which, you know, makes a lot of sense because that guy's character to me, I mean, a lot of a lot of you guys might disagree with me, but I don't really like his character very much. Mm -mm, me either. Um, you know, I understand they wanted to cast someone like Weasley to portray like a Weasley guy, but he's just too Weasley to me. I, you know, I don't know how to describe it, but you get what I'm saying? He's just too much, dude. Like, I, I'd, like I'd be happy to see him. Like, he slings his sister around like a ragdoll, and I don't like that. Like, I mean, I'm a little more petty than that. I'm particularly talking about the way he looks. Like, I don't oh, like the oh. way he looks. Like, his <laughs> face is killing me. Like, just the way he looks. Like... He's just the type you just want to put an elbow in his head. I, think, I don't know. I want to do know that this show does a great job of making us not like these people. Like, yeah, I yeah, do 100%. not like Joffrey at all. Like, I just don't like the looks of him. He makes right. me mad. Just real quick, man, before we go, guys, uh, like I said, man, it has been the Octobers, man. Before we finish up this video, I would really encourage you guys to like, subscribe, turn on the notifications. That way you guys don't miss an upload. It's going to be a long series. We're going to have a lot of fun. And, you know, we are a new channel. If you guys are new here, we've only been at it like four or five months at this point. So we still consider ourselves kind of new because we feel like we haven't really, you know, broken the iceberg of what we want to get accomplished. But just real quick before we go, guys. So, so far we got Ned. You like him or hate him? I like Ned. All right. Love Ned. What about mom? Oh, I need to write Lady Cat beside that because so we Cat. added her name. Okay. Lady Cat. I like Lady Cat. Yeah. I love Lady Cat. She's a good lady. Uh, rob two bees i don't yeah, know much about, i don't know much about him i think that he kind of seems like he's ready to take control of winterfell because he immediately was like i'll accept the appointments or whatever yeah maybe he is ready to take control but you know what i think that uh the little girl needs to go back and take control because i like i like two bees he's cool but he's he's just been in the background it's yeah just hard we haven't to, seen much of him uh brand love him or hate him don't know much about him don't just know, know he's, a, him, yeah. he's a good climber he didn't he got pushed out that window i feel bad for him he came across some disgustingness. Yeah. Uh, what about Sansa? I don't really like her right now. I think she's really like, I mean, I get it. If if she called Joffrey a liar, it's probably off with her head. And I get that. Right. Yes, um, so. So but I, she's very, I'm sorry to interrupt. No, you, no, no. Go ahead. No, no. She's very pushy to like put herself in that position. Though. Yes. It's not like yeah. she's like ducking around trying to not be noticed by the dude. I mean, she's, uh, what about Jon Snow? Um, I just, I think Jon Snow, he's like, kind of like, uh, under like it seems like he has a little mud story right here and he's gonna like become like in charge all those men and lead them maybe or at least like but good guy or bad guy though good or bad though <sighs> i think he's good yeah he seems like a good guy right so he far, just seems like angry he seems angry yeah he seems lost, upset so. like and I, right. I don't know if he's gonna turn on the starks because of like his misfair treatment or like appreciate him because they even took him in all right what about targaryen so that's uh Who's that? no 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 targaryen is Okay, so Targaryen is the bloodline of the brothers. Oh, sister. you know who I need to write on here? The Mad King. He did, he's not in it yeah, yet. Yeah, you need to write them. 
Okay, sorry. So, the Viserys, Mad, Mad King. I don't remember his first name. And Daenerys. Daenerys slash Khaleesi. See that? I kind of like Khaleesi. That's kind of sick. Yeah, it's cool because it's like cow. It has cow in front of it and then says Lisi. So they're, you know, they're weird because that's the one that they keep calling the Mad King. Like the guy who said Burnham or something. Yeah, those last words were Burnham to Jamie. So he's that. bad. The brother seems bad, but the girl seems good. So I guess that's to be determined. I guess she's, it's weird. It's almost like there's two parts of the story. There's the main part and then there's the second part. And she's definitely like a main character, but like a backup main character. Right, sense. right, It seems right. like her story is the main storyline, but it's in the background. And that's the interesting part, you guys, because there's like multiple stories going on. And it's just like, when do they come together? I don't know. <laughs> so there's the wolves that we met. We met Namiria and Lady. Uh, rest in peace to, was it Lady? Yeah, I wrote a from face beside right. her. Uh, Casterly Rock. So this is where. The is Lannisters. It? So the Lannisters come from Castle Rock, and we have the Queen Jamie. Oh, Tyron. I need to write her name, Cersei. Who's who's that? Um, this okay. So I just saw the uh, I I wrote this down in the middle of the episode. The king was y'all. I was paying attention. The king was getting wine from this little boy. He had long blonde hair, and his name was Lancel. And I wrote that down because he said he was a Lannister. He was cousins with them. I don't know who's cousin. Fair enough. What else we got? You can take my book. Oh, sorry. And then King's Landing, so Baratheon. Baratheon, which is Robert and Joffrey. So that's all the Baratheons we know so far. So Joffrey is. Uh, oh wait, son. the brother, the brother on the there's a brother in there at the hand of the king, which was Ned's like little like troop right there. Mm -hmm. The brother, but I don't know if they gave us his name, and if they did, I'm so sorry, guys. I missed it. I'll have to watch other episodes. What's this NA right here? Uh, I don't know what house they belong to. Okay, um, so basically it's just Lord. Varys and Littlefinger, Jorah, Dog. The, I meant the Hound. Girl. I meant the Hound right there. All right. So, yeah, we're not exactly sure who those characters are. Uh, but so far, man, this is what we know. This is what we think so far. Um, and I literally am doing it based off the dialogue. Like, So when I see a name, I try to kind of find which house it goes in and try to, like, remember it. Even though, like, it's really hard because some people have different names. Right. Once we get through maybe like the first season, I'm going to watch one of those um, like Game of Thrones season one explain type of things. No spoilers, guys, but I do feel like for me to really understand what's going on, I might need to watch one of those videos to break it down a little bit or to get more of like an idea of what's going on. You guys have been saying in the comment section, there's just so much war. Basically, you guys were saying that you could spend a whole lifetime studying this world and you could just dive into so much war and story and stuff like that so yeah guys this has been the October's. we're doing our best to keep up if you're still with us right now man you are, really are i mean you guys are awesome thank you guys so much for the support uh it's people like you man who really does help a channel like us grow you know people who stay and watch the whole video so it's been the october thank you guys so much for hanging out we'll see y'all on the next one peace